Hi, Pisces. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Let's see what let's see what spirit has for you today. Uh, new love, next love, relationships I'm in. Any guidance spirit wants to share with me, please take with you what connects to you. Leave the rest for everybody else. It is a general reading, so. Check out your collective readings also for new love coming into your life, manifesting new love. Those are usually launched each day, so you can check out those readings um, as well. Welcome, Pisces. Let's see what we have for you today. Spirit, I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have enlightenment, spiritual awakening, a revelation. So it is an awakening when we meet the person that we're going to be with. The grass is greener. The sky is bluer. We're growing, we're leveling up, we're expanding. It feels good. It's exciting. I have a battle of the sex, sexes, it feels like here. Uh, different pages, not seeing things eye to eye. So we want to be with somebody that we're not in a battle with. We want to be with somebody that we're more compatible with. We may have been struggling with somebody recently that we're just not on the same page. And we want to be with somebody that is more in alignment with us. I've got love sick, void, empty, heartbroken. Somebody could be missing you right now, but it doesn't mean you're going back to them. It's just coming into me as we just didn't, we weren't on the same page and um, I don't know, it just wasn't working out. So we do have kind of a heartbreak here, a robotic heart, empty feelings, boring routine. It wasn't what you wanted. So Spirit's going to share with us what it is that's coming. It looks like what's coming next. It's time for you to have some forward movement, taking steps in the right direction, moving yourself forward. What's ahead of us, Spirit? What is ahead of us? And we're turning over a new leaf. We're improving ourselves. We're changing our attitude. We are changing our life is how I feel. So you could have had a sudden or a change in your life that it was by choice or it could have been not by choice. But no matter what, you're moving forward. And I have a pretty good idea that Spirit's going to share with me, you know, that we're heading in the direction of new love. So welcome back, everybody. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need my Pisces to know? Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. I love to see your comments. Let's see what we have. Tell me about moving forward. What is ahead of me? I have a eight of swords. I have strength. I have a death card. Yeah, you're changing. This is a significant change in your life. And an ace of wands, it, it's, it's a feeling of, you know, spirit giving you extra strength, you letting spirit work. I'm going to say it that way, you know, just allowing the universe to work. What does the universe have for you? It has an ace of wands coming in. It has a um, something that's coming into you. I'm going to say fast. OK, I'm going to I'm going to say fast and passionately something something maybe when you least expect it just came into me. Um, so let's keep going with that. But I do feel like it's after troubling times. It's after a um, I, I don't know. A heart, I'm going to say a heartbreak. That would be the easiest way to say it. All right. Let's say I have a five of pentacles after troubling times. OK, eight, eight of eight of pentacles and a justice card okay and i have a king of swords i want to be honest and open with you i want to share with you i know that relationships take work i know that relationships are a balancing act it looks like and i know you've come out of something that was very difficult you weren't with the right partner just came into me you weren't with the right person that you would have it would have been easier if you both worked on those troubling times together. So you've got somebody coming into me that's going to be that that king of swords can express themselves. They are great communicators, of course, but they can express their feelings. So maybe you struggled with somebody that was having a hard time, um, you know, letting you know how they 
felt about you. And that's all that you really needed to hear is you just needed somebody to say, I care for you. I love you. I want you. All these little butterflies on this king's robe are jumping out at me like this person's ready to transform your life or change your life completely. And I want you to look at it from a different perspective. I don't want you to compare um, anybody from your past to this new energy because I feel like they're totally different people. It's like total opposite of somebody that you've ever dated before or something that is... Um, you see something so different in this person or this connection than you've ever had before. So I don't want you to compare it to what you've had in the past. I want you to just look at the person that's being put right in front of you and what they're saying to you. It's definitely, it's definitely a new, um, a new person. This is not my past returning. This is new love coming towards you. I do feel that forward movement, that fast moving energy. And I also feel this sense of, I really wasn't expecting to fall so in love with you, but I'm so glad I have, you know, like I really wasn't expecting to finally meet the person in my dreams, or I was always hoping for someone. Yeah. Bottom of my deck, I have a king of wands. So I have a, a really good idea that this is going to come in pretty fast. And I, I'm going to say take you by surprise, you know, a little bit of a childlike um, giddiness, uh, crush energy, take you by surprise, like blown away would be a good way to say it, um, you know, and I think that you're going to be really excited when this energy comes in. You're going to start to feel that your heart races when your phone rings or you actually look forward to a date with this person. But it is a it's a fat it is for, for sure fast moving energy. So we're going to we're going to see where this goes. Spirit, tell me more about what is going on around us right now what what is it that you have for my pisces i have putting thoughts in my mind okay you're the missing piece of the puzzle how about you're the missing piece of my the puzzle like you can complete each other complete each other's sentences something like that um an addiction in the past okay did we have problems with somebody from our past that had problems with addiction or alcohol or um, control issues or narcissistic. And, and we have a tendency to have those flags come up very quickly in our mind. Like, I just can't put myself in that kind of situation again. I, I just can't deal with it ever again. So it could be something like that. They're saying love wins, love wins. That's the truth. Uh, fighting, always fighting. The person who had some kind of problems or behavioral problems, emotional problems. All I did was fight with that person. I can't be in another relationship where I'm arguing with somebody or that it's always a battle. You're, I'm going to say maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's what Spirit's trying to share with me is that they're bringing you somebody that's totally different. I like this retreat, like we're alone in the wilderness. You know, we are... Um, away from it all doesn't mean you're going to be living in a tent it means that we take time to be alone you know we create some time alone together and we I like the feeling of we enjoy the same things whether it's being in nature or going for long walks or quiet or time so there's there's a very calming energy around you for the first time in a long time this person brings you comfort and I'm not going to run from this energy. I like that. Running into this person in the past, okay? Bumping into somebody. Uh, rendezvous. Fast moving energy physically with that rendezvous. I do feel like the sparks are flying. I do feel like there is... Um, there is a sense of blown away by this person. Uh, there could be a little bit of fear. This female running could be, this was just so intense and I don't want to jump into anything. I want to make sure that I'm making a good choice this time. You know, so if somebody comes in and you feel like, is this just going to be a fast affair or a fling or casual? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say those are fears based on, 
something else, the, somebody else that puts you through things. You're still bumping into somebody that you have, I, I guess, some old wounds with. You could, they still could be in your circle somehow. They could be the father of your child, or you could share a child together. They could be, we have a lot of friends together. Um, we still see each other. We still have to talk to each other for a reason. So there could still be some of that going on. So there, there's some confusion. I'm taking off like a rocket. This, this, this rendezvous, whatever this rendezvous is, I feel like it is going to take off very quickly. I don't want to be controlled by anybody. I don't ever want to be in that situation again where I feel trapped or stuck. So you know what you want. You know what you want. You've been lied to in the past. I can feel that you are struggling with, I just don't want what I had. Okay. If you don't want, if you don't want what you had in the past, then you say no to it. You say no to the person who comes into your energy again, and they have the same characteristics that you've seen from your past. You've learned that you don't want those things. So I feel like those types of um, triggers keep popping up. And you say to yourself, I just can't put myself in that situation again. You know, like if you struggled with somebody who had a drinking problem in the past, the last thing you want to do is start dating a new person who right out of the gate, you know, the first date orders like five martinis, you know, so it's you're not going to put yourself in that situation. You're smarter than that. You know better. And you're going to be blown away by this energy. So spirit, let's focus on even though it's fast moving, um, I, I'm excited about it. I just don't want what I had in the past. Help me to overcome that. Help me to understand where these feelings are coming from. Let's say an engagement ring. I want a partnership. I want a commitment. I want eternity. I don't want to spin my wheels. I don't want to waste my time. I want somebody who wants to be in a relationship. There you go. A key with a heart welcoming new new love welcoming in the one okay a per perfect partnership i just want it to be better this time you know for those of you that have had have something to compare it to you just want it to be better this time a girl with a snake empathic narcissistic being charmed or used um Knowing the boundaries is, is certainly um, knowing what you can handle and what you can't ha handle. Let's put it this way. If you see a snake crossing your path, do you jump? Do you run? Do you get out of its way? Do you scream? <laughs> you know, like if I saw a snake, I'd be like, I, I don't want this in my energy. I would be getting as far away from it as I could. So you are smarter than you think you are, Spirit just said. Like you have to trust yourself more than anyone. You are going to make a wise decision and a good decision for you. So you're in a better place. Give this time. If you're still healing, if these types of things are still triggering you, then you are still struggling with what's the best for you. So give yourself more time if that's what you need. But spirit saying you're going to have a new love come in. Expect it. You know, you might it might come into your life when you least expect it. But it's going to be the right love and it will be a good and it will be good and it will be perfect for you. Uh, separation, missing somebody, thinking about somebody, unsure of your own future because of a loss of a separation with somebody else. Second guessing, Spirit just said, second guessing our choices, you know, that I'm not thinking clearly anymore or I, um, um, you know, I'm giving everybody a chance and I'm not saying no to somebody that I should be saying no to. I, I think that you're wiser than you think you are. Um, you're replaying just old messages in your head of, I guess, how you were programmed in the past, you know, that you, you kind of give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And maybe it's time that you reprogram your thinking to, I'm going to give you a chance, but at the same time, I'm going to be looking for red flags because I don't want what I had in the past. So they're sharing with me that whoever they're putting in front of you is going to be so different from your past. You might not even recognize it. 
It's okay. It's focus on yourself, self-indulgence, focus on yourself, self-appreciation. You know, you deserve better than what you had, of course. So that's important. Not enough. Feeling frustrated in a relationship, lacking confidence, fear, jealousy. I, I don't want any of that energy in my life anymore. I want to feel confident. I want to feel strong. I want to feel emotionally and physically secure with somebody and even financially secure with somebody. But right now you are enough. You're more than enough for who spirit is bringing into your life. The dragonfly, ooh, look for a dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Things are coming to light. Get ready to adapt, change, and heal all at the same time. So you're going through a lot. It feels like you're going through a lot right now. They have love. Look at this. She's, she's having such a hard time carrying this big heart because this big heart of passion is coming into you. It's like I'm getting my arms around my feelings. I'm getting my arms around loving somebody else, trusting someone else, Spirit just said and allowing somebody into your heart. So right now, you have to be ready for this because this could come in very, very quickly and you could be totally blown away from, from this person. So let's see, tell me more about this energy that's coming towards us, Spirit. You're doing a great job. Spirit says you are enough. You're amazing. You are amazing. Let's say what they have. They have a son. I, I just want you to focus on what's ahead. Just focus on this new beginning. Look at the fool, the sun. No doubt in my mind, they're starting you over. I've got a three of pentacles. You, um, you know, you're good in other things. You, you have so much to offer, this connection. You're smart, you're intelligent, you're independent. You are, um, people admire you. They look up to you. And, but you are ready to start this journey in this area of your life. And they don't want you to compare. They don't want you to compare your path. Like don't compare one person to another, all right? Just learn from what you, what you had in the past because you're going to have something so much better. And you get to decide if this is going to be, it's like your choice, you know, like you're the queen. So you're deciding what, you're deciding what's best for you. And what's best for you right now is somebody that is, um, it's a much more calming relationship to me than what you had in the past. It's, it's a, it's more of a sense of peace, my peace of mind, <laughs> you know, like if you had somebody that, um, I don't know, you walked, felt like you walked on eggshells. You had to worry what you said. You didn't feel like you were ever listened to what, whatever the reasons were. This is just a feeling of, I feel more content. I feel more at peace. I feel more in control. I certainly can say and do whatever, um, I feel like I need to within a relationship. I'm not going to hold back. So you can be yourself in this connection more so than you've been ever in your lifetime. So if you're feeling that and this has come into your life, I'm going to say you have a great connection and it's only going to get better. If you're manifesting, I think that's a great thing to manifest that there's a sense of peacefulness um, around you. I have a page of pentacles and offer a date. I want to take you out. I want to see where this goes. I've been waiting for someone just like you is how that hangman came into me. Like I have been waiting patiently to meet somebody just like you. And, and here you are right in front of me. So they're going to appreciate you. They're going to appreciate your confidence. They're going to appreciate your heart just came into me. You have so much love to give. You need to let this person in and you're going to be fine. Here's the fast moving energy. I feel it. I feel it coming on strong. This person could be coming on strong. They could be hitting on you, seducing you, um, flirting with you. And, and you're just kind of putting on the brakes because we want to make sure that I don't fall back into being with the same kind of person that I was with in the past. So you're smarter, you're wiser, you're not the person that you were before. So you're going to decide differently this time. But 
I, I, I can't help but say get ready. Get ready for something good. Time to celebrate. How fun. It's more of a give and take connection. And we've got a king of cups. And I felt like when I pulled that card, it was like they're searching for you. Like this person has been waiting patiently to find you. And I feel like they have been searching for someone just like you. So there's so much going on right now. The thing that I want you to work on um, the most is that you've changed. You're not the same person that you were. And when you have changed because of all that you've gone through and learned and grown, you're not going to invite in the same energy that you had in the past. So keep that in mind as well. Um, I see the rest of my life with you. So how about this, 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 um, I want to go back to this fast moving energy, you know, because eight, eight of wands is a um, change in direction. It, it's just, that's the easiest way to say it. It's just your life. You, you see your life one way and all of a sudden, you know, spirit picks you up and puts you on a totally different path. It's not what you had planned. It's not what you had foreseen for yourself. And all of a sudden you've got this new person, new energy in your life who is falling for you fast, passionately, and, and it's when you least expect it. So is it going to blow you away? Yes, it's going to blow you away because it, it, it's not something that you saw. It's not something that you saw coming. Is it the best thing that's ever happened to you? Probably. Um, you know, let's put it in the category of it's a pleasant surprise um, that this is this has come into your life now. But the person who comes in and does have that that unconditional love for you. Nothing compares to your smile. I feel like that's one of the first things they say to you. I love your smile. You have such a beautiful smile. I want to make you smile every day for the rest of my life. Um, I will never love someone the way that I love you. So look at what we have to look forward to. Look at what spirit is telling you is on its way. I'm sorry for everything. Now, this card comes into me that they're not that they're apologizing for you, but they're sorry for what you've been through. If you had a difficult time or you have been struggling recently or somebody really hurt you and it was uncalled for or it was just mean and, you know, it, it was wrong. I'm going to say it that way. I, I just feel like they, they connect to you. They're empathetic. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. There you go. I do believe that. I wonder if your body wants mine the way mine wants yours. Now, that is truly my, where is my fast moving energy? Where is that, that uh, eight of wands? You know, it, it's going to come in. It's going to come in as feeling seductive. It is. It's somebody who's going to seduce you. It's somebody who you take their breath away. They're blown away by you. Um, they totally are into you. And, it's going to be obvious that it's it's a physical attraction in the beginning. But keep in mind, there's going to be so much more. You know, the person who says to you, I, I just love your smile. You know, you just made my day because of the way you looked at me. So, but it is going to come in fast. It's going to come in physical. Um, and I don't want you to second guess your choices. You're wise, you're smart, you know what you're doing. You know, trust your own intuition, trust your, your own spirit guides to guide you. They're saying, you are my everything. You're gonna turn into this person's everything. So that is what, and there's one more, they're saying bottom of the deck, I love you. So we've got somebody who's gonna fall in love with you. So it's gonna come in fast, get ready for it. Let's put this out into the universe. I wanna thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.